Hey, yeah. Uh, hello, guys. How's it going? All good? Uh, there you go. All good. How are you, Elena Mata? How are you doing? All good? Everything good. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Uh, Jessica Hernandez, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. All right. Nice to see you. Um, Eneida. Hello, Eneida. All good? All right. She's got some. Um... All right. There you go, Eneida. How are you doing, Eneida? Can you hear me? All right, uh, Brenda, Brenda, how are you, Brenda? All good? Yeah, right. we're a little bit sleepy. All right, why? Why are you sleeping? Uh, because of the weather. Because of the weather? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I... All right, are you working? Yes. You're working, all right. From home? Yes. Oh, that's nice. All right, sounds good. All right, uh, Irenia, how are you doing, Irenia? Hello, I'm great, thank All you. All right, nice to hear that, huh? Mario Marroquin, hello, sir. If you mind turning oh, on your camera. Hello. Um, just, give me a, just give me a minute, I'm finishing up my, my dinner. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem, right? Uh, Eric, Eric Paredes, how are you doing, Eric? Fine. Um, All good? Do you listen to me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I... All right. So welcome, guys. Welcome uh, once again. I hope that you had a very nice day today. Enjoying the weather. Well, uh, and I hope that everything is good where wherever you are. Uh, so welcome, Francisco, Catherine, Eneida, Fatima, Jose, uh, Francisco Garcia. All right, guys. So uh, thank you for being here, and let's move on. Uh, Catherine. Catherine cannot. Hold on. Um, all right. Hold on, guys. I'm just sending a message. Okay, guys. Uh, really cool. Hey, uh, Mari, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? All good? Thank okay, you. How about good, you? Good, good, good. I'm good, man. All right. All right, guys. So, um, so where did we, where did we, um, where did we leave off yesterday, guys? Uh, we were gonna do the. No, it was not with you. All right. So, did you finish exercise uh, 2.2? No, 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 no. 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 Uh, let me go back. Let me go back. We haven't. Not teacher. We haven't come to 2.2. Hold on. Mm. So, tell me about your day, Jessica. Um, it's been a little busy. It, today was my day that I could go out, so I went to the supermarket, you know, buy some groceries here. Uh, then I had nice. to work in the afternoon. Oh, okay. So you had to work in the afternoon. Got yeah. It. Got it, got it, got it, got it. A little right. bit bored, though. A little bit bored. Yeah, it's like there's, you know, too many things to do anymore. There's too many things to do, and the weather does not, you know, it's not like the best. Yeah, yeah. The weather <laughs> to is be not working, like... it's like to be, you know, watching Netflix or something like that. <laughs> like, yes, exactly. It's like to be resting, right? Hey, yeah. but uh, I'm glad that you're fine. What about you, Tanya? What have you done? Hello, good evening, everyone. Well, in my day, I have to work. All day, I have a like, uh, regular education for work. Huh? So I work from 8 to 6 p.m. Okay. I, well, in my case, all this time, I feel like really... Um, busy. All right. Oh, okay. I have been busy all this time and working at home. It, it is not the same because I have to be like really. I don't have like a schedule, a normal schedule. You don't have a normal schedule. Okay. All right. So like you have, you have, do you have kind of like a, 
um, kind of like a, a flexible schedule? Not at all. No. <laughs> no. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, so yesterday we were seeing. Uh, okay. So I got it now. Right. So yesterday we were seeing how to uh, express regret. Right. Do you remember third conditional? Yes. yes. All yes. right. So we were talking about third conditional yesterday. Right. All right. So today, guys, let's start off by uh, we're almost done with with the section number one. All right, so we're a little bit uh, ahead. So guys, um, we're gonna we're gonna finish the exercise one point ten, okay? All right. Uh, so let's work on that right now, and then we're gonna jump into the next topic, okay? So let's go, everyone. Let's go to one point ten. You're gonna take less than than five minutes, guys. So, uh, so let's go. All right. So let's go up, guys. Guys, oh, by the way, before we start, uh, I'm sorry, before we, we move on, guys, uh, does everybody have, have access to the platform? Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, very good. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Hey, welcome everyone who has not, who had not joined before. Welcome here. Diana Hernandez, welcome. Danielle. Hello, good guys. Evening. Right. Good evening, guys. Right. So, uh, exercise 1.10, guys. All right. Let's work together. 1.10. Yes. Let's go. All right, uh, so you're supposed to be with Brenda here. Oh, uh, there you go, there you go. Thank you, right? Thank you, Brenda. All right, so look, continue, guys. Continue, continue. One each a statement we are one to the regret or hypothetical situation given in order to complete the information. So, if I had listened, if I had listened to my parents. All right, let's continue, guys. Hello, Kevin. How are you doing? All good? I'm good. All right, good to hear that, man. You just Okay. All right. Do you, hey, did, did you get a camera? Yes. Uh, right. it, it's the case is that I using my phone and I have problems with <laughs> with this app, with some app. Oh, okay. All right. Don't worry. Keep it up, bro. Super okay. good. All good mm. over here? Yes, a little bit. Yes. Okay, uh, number three, I guess is I could have gotten. I could have. Mm, gotten yeah. a promotion. I could have gotten, yeah. Before is if I study hard in school, I could have learned more. <laughs> I could have learned more, I guess. Learn. Learn. More. Wow, it's a type. Number five, if I save money, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have broken. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. have broken as am I. I wouldn't. Am I now? Uh, no. Y aquí le damos a enviar. We have to send. Yeah, to submit. No. They, no. <laughs> no. They, all that's <laughs> bad. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be as broadcasting. As broke now. As now. As broke as I am now. I think that would be the, the order. There's two I two I better. Mm. 
what happened? Oh, good guys, oh, good. Oh, uh, why, why are you alone? You were supposed to be with uh, Brenda and, and Ada. All right, yeah. Well, I, I changed in Ada's uh, room, uh, but Moses is supposed to be with you here. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll transfer you to another room, okay? Okay. Fail. All right. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I didn't did see you, the. Did you, get, did you guys finish? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. We're going to yeah. get back now. We cannot hear you. I was telling you that you're muted. I was I was muted as well. Okay. Uh, no, guys, I'm sorry. All right. Did you did you guys finish? Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, Mario. Uh, so what should be the the answer for the first question? The first one. I mean, for okay. the first exercise. Yeah. The first one says, if I'd listened to my parents, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. Good job. Okay. I would have made more. All right, pragmatic decisions, okay? All right. I don't understand this topic. Hey, guys, uh, wait, who said that? You don't understand this topic? Who said that, guys? It's okay, man, right? It's okay. So, guys, do you have a question? Kevin. Hello, teacher. I right, couldn't yeah. complete all sentence, just I am the second. All right, so tell me, all right, so so it's okay, man. Guys, if you have a question, let me know, okay? Were you in the class yesterday, Kevin? Yes, yesterday I was in class, but uh, the first class I couldn't be. All right, all right, sounds way. good, sounds good, all right? Uh, okay, all right, so, um, so have you ever heard about third conditionals? Yes, all I right. was in Can you give me a sentence in third conditional? Okay, if I uh, uh -huh. <clears throat> be in the first class. If I be? If I if I been in the first class. If I been. All right, yeah. it's okay, it's okay right now. All right, all right. Guys, what is the structure? Who can help me? Jessica, give me a, give me a sentence in third conditional. Uh, damn. Um, third condition. Uh, if I... If I, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Um, if I, I need a structure. If I studied better, I would have been. Uh, I don't structure. know. I would have my master already or something like that. Okay, all right, guys. So um, we will have to go back to explain that, but I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you guys the structure. Yesterday we saw the structure. Okay, so you have to follow the yes. structure, right? So now, uh, so let's do it real quick. Okay. What is the structure? Who can tell me the structure, guys? Me coach. Me teacher. Me coach. All right. Me. <laughs> All right. So tell me, who? what is the structure? Uh, who? All right. Kevin mm -hmm. Rodriguez. Oh. Yes. Okay. If plus subject plus have plus past participle uh -huh. and subject plus cold or okay. would after have plus past participle. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. Okay, plus, plus what? All right, so we have uh, if plus subject plus have plus past participle plus complement plus what else? The other sentence that will be comma. Ah, yeah. uh, no. Uh huh.
Okay, all right. So this is the structure of a sentence, guys, okay? okay. All right, now, uh, third conditional, guys. According to what we saw yesterday, what do we use third conditional for? To express regret or describing a hypothetical situation. Good job, okay. So we use it for regret, okay? All right. Now, guys, what is the meaning for had on a third conditional? What is the what what does that translate to? What, what does that have. translate to? To? Hubiera. No, it's not the past of have, guys. Not in this case. In this case, hubiera. Hubiera, right? Hubiera. What is the meaning of uh, would have? What is the meaning of would have, guys? Hubiera. Hubiera, okay. Si yo hubiera hecho algo, yo hubiera hecho esta otra cosa, right? So it's basically, yeah. guys, a condition. That's that's why it's called okay. a condition, right? If you use if, you're talking about a condition, right? Now, third conditional, right? Third conditional, had you well in third condition, you always have to use had. So if I had, and then a verb in past participle. Uh, Diana Hernandez, give me a verb in past participle. Given. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the search at, 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 a, at an example, right? If I, if give me another subject, give me I don't know uh, the name she. of the if she, right? If she, guys, if she has or if she had, had. if she, she had, guys, right? Had. The subject does not change this, okay? Because this is an auxiliary, right? So if she had, okay. give me a passport for had. Her, uh, Kevin Rodriguez. Bean. Or give me another case. one. Bean is like another, uh, another one, another one. Okay. Another. Listen. Uh, girls. What? Girls. Study. Listen. All right, all right, all right. Only, only Kevin Rodriguez now. right now. Kevin, give me another one. Gus. What? Gus. Gus. What is Gus? G O E S. G O. If she had goes. Goes is participle of the bear go. Now, what is the past participle of the verb go, guys? Gone. Sorry, gone. gone. Okay, good job. Good job, Kevin, right? If she had gone. Gone. Uh huh. To the cinema. To the all right, to the to the movies. Okay. If she had gone movie? to the movies, or right? All right. Let's pretend we she have gone to the movies with another guy. Right. <laughs> Or, or we can say with a guy. With a guy. Than her boyfriend. Okay. So now, all right. So this is this is the, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. This is a regret. Okay. So this girl goes to the movie theater with another guy that is not her boyfriend. Okay. So what would it happen if she had done this? Okay. So this is a now we're gonna talk about the consequence. Okay. Now the consequence. All right. Uh, the consequence would be. Anything that you tell me, right? So follow the structure, guys. Okay, Brenda, Brenda, tell me what what would have happened if she had gone to the movie theater with a guy other than her boyfriend? She she would have. Okay, she, she would have, have. Or she would have. Okay, it's okay. She would have. Um, she would have. Help her, guys. Help her. Let's go. Anyone. <laughs> she wouldn't have broken. Okay. She would not. Okay. Very good. Okay. She wouldn't have broken what? With his, with her boyfriend. Okay, guys. All right. Then, Praise out verb, right? Broken, it's not, it's not, um, romper una relacion. You have to use the phrase out verb. Everyone. Yeah. Broken up. Broken, broken up. With right. her boyfriend. Broken up. Okay. Broken all right. Up. Very good job. Everyone repeat. If she had gone to the movies with a guy other than her boyfriend, she had gone to the movies with a guy other than her boyfriend. She wouldn't have broken up with her boyfriend. She wouldn't have broken up with her boyfriend. Actually, we don't need to say her boyfriend again because we already know we're talking about him, right? Uh, he sure. wouldn't have broken up with him, all right? With him. Right. All right, uh, tell me. I have a doubt. Tell me. Uh, with this, this structure, for example, if I say the sentence, if I had saved money since I started working, I would have a car now. It's a mistake if I say it like that. No, but that's called a mixed conditional. 
that's not a third conditional because you're mix you're mixing up third conditional and second conditional. Remember, second conditional is on real situations, right? Mm -hmm. If I bought a car, I would I would drive it, okay? So you're mixing third conditional versus second conditional. But we have not touched that topic yet, guys, okay? So, so hold your horses, okay? That's good. Okay. There's no mistake there, but that's not a full third conditional sentence. Good question, okay? okay. Good Thanks. question. All right, good job. Another question, guys? Another question? No? 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 All right, uh, Eric, uh, tell me. Give me one sentence. Kevin, Kevin Rodriguez, give me one sentence on your own. And with the first uh, exercise or another sentence? Uh, no, no, no. Your, your own example. Okay. If um, Marta had... Um, Marta had... Um, you're doing good, man. You're doing good. I think that you need to study first part of the verb. You need vocabulary. Okay. Yeah. Right? You need vocabulary because uh, it's hard for you to, to give me a, um, a past participle verb. Think about another one, right? Give me a past participle verb. And waiting. What? Waiting. You mean waited. 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 Esperado. No. Waiting. I'm not, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what waiting is. You said. I am confused with the past and past participle of the verbs and All right, guys, who can who can explain term. who can explain us what is the third what is the what is the, the past participle? What is a past participle? Francisco, help me. Uh, I don't know if you have studied the the verbs. Just you have a uh, present, past, and past participle like. Uh, and live, yeah. live, and lived. That is past participle of of the verb. Or that is for a. Uh, how can I tell you? Uh, that's that is a verb, uh, uh, re regular verb, and the irregular verb like um, uh, think, thought, and thought. Thought is the is a past participle. I don't know if you know what I mean. All right. Uh, very good job. Plus for Francisco, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So, uh, yes, guys. The past participle is the third form of the verb. Okay. Uh, so, Kevin, right? That is... Uh, so, so, do my favor uh, for as homework. You're, you're on the homework, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, learn verbs in past participle, okay? Because this is part okay. of this is part of vocabulary. If you do not know, guys, if you do not know past participles, you are not going to be able to talk in present perfect, present uh, um, present perfect progressive. Uh, you are not going to be able to use second conditional, third conditionals, mixed conditionals. This is like key, brother. All right. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good, but you need vocabulary with third, with, okay. uh, with, with past participles, right? And a okay. for Kevin, guys. Good job, man. Thank you for your question. All right. Okay. Good okay. job. What's the answer for the first one, Jessica Hernandez? Let's go. Uh, we already done that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't write. Just me, please. All right. I'm, I'm actually. Let's move on, guys. Okay. So, does everybody have uh, the questions like this? The answers like this? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. So whoever does not, guys, write them down. And please, guys, practice practice uh, past participle verbs because you have to know them, all right? If not, you're not you're never gonna understand this topic, okay? All right, okay. super good job, super good job, right? So let's move on, guys. I think that's um, okay, very good. Teacher, tell me. In the verb uh, break, the past participle is not broken. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the last one in the exercise. Before. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. It's broken. It's broken. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Let's pay attention, guys, and let me mute everybody. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. Pronunciation, please. There you go. Hi. To wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice.
Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. All right, guys, so let's practice. Okay, so the only thing that we have to know here, guys, is that uh, they reduce the sounds, right? So basically, they are not pronouncing anything else but, but, the, but the consonant sounds, okay? Everyone, I should have been less selfish when I was younger. All right, let's repeat, I should have been less selfish when I was younger. All right, should have been. I should have been. I should have been. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. I should have been. I should have All right, very good, all right? If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. All right. And that's you it. Make okay. All right. So very good. Right. Now we're gonna do this, okay? Uh, I need one volunteer, okay? If not, I'm gonna pick someone, okay? I need one volunteer, guys, to tell me a sentence in third condition, okay? Everybody else, I need you to go to uh, 1.11, and you're gonna pause. You're gonna post your answer here, okay? So you're gonna go to add post, okay? Uh, the title, and you're gonna give me the answer. Got it? All right. So everybody else. I need to post in here, okay? Uh, meanwhile, let's see. Uh, Mario, Mario, pick someone who likes to. Well, pick someone. Pick, pick, pick someone that uh, looks like Angelina Jolie. All right, let me like see. Like the only name I know. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, let's go with Catherine. Catherine, let's go, Catherine. It's Catherine. Okay. All right, give me, give me a sentence in third condition, like Catherine. Okay, if we hadn't started this course on this week, if we hadn't started this course on Monday, we, we could have started it on next week. Okay, all right, all right. a little bit more flusive, but good job. We could, we could have started it next week. Applause, guys. Good job, Catherine. Good job. Okay, hey, beautiful, 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 right? All right, um, all right, guys, uh, keep posting your answers here, okay? Uh, Catherine, pick someone else. Mm, let me see. Mm. Francisco Garcia. Francisco Garcia, all right. Francisco Garcia, let's go. Give me another one. Hit uh, me up with another one, Francisco Garcia. Who will help us? Your exam, if you had worked harder. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again, please? You will have pay, pay your exam. Have you have, you will have passed your exam if you had worked harder. Okay, if you had worked, guys, or worked? Worked. Worked, worked. harder, good job, okay, harder. you would have passed your exam if you had worked harder. Good job, good job, good job. Applause, applause for Francisco, guys. Good job, man. All right, very good. Francisco, pick one last person. Let's go. Mm. You know what, let me choose. Diana. Uh, Diana. Diana, let's go, Diana. Diana Hernandez. Diana. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, there okay. you go. I'm him. Okay. If I have been uh, less hard, less hard with her, okay, she would she would, uh, she would be working here yet. She would be working mm -hmm. here yet. All right. Uh, who can correct me? Who can help me with um, correcting this, guys? Me, teacher. I, me teacher. I can do it. She I, would have been. All right. If I had been less hard with her, she would, would have, have been working. She would have been working here yeah. yet. Ill. What? See, All right, there is something wrong here, guys. Okay, she would have been working here already. 
Okay. okay. She would have been working here already, okay? Because yet you use it with negatives. But good job, applause, guys. Good job. Okay, almost there. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Any questions, guys? Because now I have uh, this is like the ending, and uh, we only have a listening exercise right now. Uh, so before we jump into the next topic, guys, do you have any questions? Before I, I pull up the next presentation, any questions? No? No. So far, so, far so good? So far. Yes. All right, you're doing a good job, guys. Thank you very much. All right, then. All right, so let's work on the last exercise from the section one, guys, which is listening. All right, uh, guys, if you're going to play here, you're going to click on here. If this doesn't, um, if this doesn't work, then you're gonna have to click on this pop up, pop out, uh, pop up link here, and that's gonna come up with uh, this screen. Okay. Once, once you hit this screen, just go, just go. Page and seventy-six. Page, and then you're gonna be able to listen to it. Now, if you do not, like, if for some reason this doesn't work, uh, do me a favor and share your screen with your partner. Okay. Got it. Gotta get it? All right. So we're good, guys. All right. Let's uh let's get started then. Okay, there you go. All right, let's go, guys. All right, let's join, Moises. There you go. Listening exercise. Okay, let me see if I can get the platform. Okay. And I tell you, okay. Nice see. job, guys. How are you feeling, Brenda? I'm feeling very good. All right, nice, nice to hear that. Okay. Hey, David, it's complicated to get to your classes, man. I'm Bye. just lost uh, searching the. The number of the to join the the Zoom. You mean the link? Yes, the link. I wasted uh, like a fifteen minutes. What, what what do you mean? Like I I don't know what's going on with the link. Okay, the the thing is that I don't have. Uh, I'm supposed not to be in your class because I have another link. Oh, I'm okay. Not with you, but someone uh, gave me your link, so I that's why I'm I'm joining your classes. But it's complicated for me. I just um, set up my phone and I lost all my contacts. So I, I wasted oh. 15 minutes to, to get in. All right, all right, all right. Uh, well, as long as you finish the platform, that's okay. Um, but uh, use the same link that you use every day to join to this class. I mean, if you're, if you're yeah. going to be in this class, I mean, use the same one right now that you have the link. Uh, yeah. But I didn't know that it was a hassle to join, to join you know, using that link, right? Thank you for letting me know. I'll try to report it, all right? Continue, guys. Continue, okay? Good job, man. Okay. Take advantage, okay. Randa, because uh, Francisco is very good, okay? Uh, thank you very much, man. Okay. All right, let's go. So far, so good, guys? Yes. What is yes. Me? All right. Uh, so far, so good, guys? Uh, you want I can give you? All right, it's all good. So far, so good, Diana? Can hear you. Okay, wait. I'm here. Okay, all right. Any 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 problem? No? No, no. Everything's okay. All right, Thank sounds you. good. Sounds good. Listen again. What effect have the could regrets you, had on each person's could you please life? Please stop the audio. Okay. Um I number one, Barbara, I think that did take tip keeping class in high school. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I good probably, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. we finished. Did, did you finish? Okay, right. No, not everybody's finished, so just give me a couple of maybe, maybe like two minutes. Okay, okay, all right. Continue, continue. And for the last one, the didn't learn to play the guitar as a kid. Okay, okay, okay. pronunciation guitar, not guitar, guitar, guitar. guitar. All right, good job, good job, Kathy. 
All right, continue, girls. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. I, I'm going to, we're going to go back now. And Ada, hello. Hello, Ada. Let's uh, give me the answer for number one, Ada. Uh, hold on, hold Barbara. On. Me, hold on. Give me one second. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you. I'm just uh, muting everybody else. All right, do me a favor, unmute yourself, and uh, give me the answer for number one, please. All right. Uh, you okay? You have to unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Number one, Barbara didn't take taping class in high school. Okay, good job. Repeat, guys. Barbara didn't take typing classes in high school. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara didn't, didn't take typing classes in high school. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, Ineda, pick someone else who has not participated. Uh, um, Mario? Mario, 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 Mario. All, All right, right, Mario, uh, number two. Yeah, Alex, uh, his mistake was that he stopped exercise. All right, his oh, he, he stopped, everyone, he stopped exercise. Yes, stop. he stopped uh, exercising. Exercise. All right, good job, guys. Uh, Mario, pick someone else, pick someone else. Pick the first person you see on your screen. Eric Diaz. Eric Diaz, let's go, Eric. Jishan. Uh, uh, sorry, listen. Jishan. Jishan didn't learn to play the guitar as a guy. Okay. Uh, Kev. 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 All right, good job, right? Everyone, guitar. 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 All right, all right. Do my favorite guys never say guitar and never say guitar, okay? It's just guitar, okay? Guitar. guitar. Okay, so the answers are correct. The plus for you guys. Good yes. job. Any questions, guys? Vocabulary? No whatsoever? No questions? No. no. All right, so good job, okay? Uh, help me read the lesson objective, um, Tanya. By the end of this lesson, participants will understand how to use infinity clauses to describe purpose. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at the presentation, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So describing purpose. Okay. Uh, first of all, help me read uh, Irenia. No, you know what? Who has not participated? Uh, Jose. Jose Mois Moses. Okay, from uh, the Bible. Jose, tell me, Jose. Uh, Help me read the first uh, the first part. Jose. All right, Moses. 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 Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, all right. Uh, Moses is not there. Fatima Capos, help me. I'm sorry. Let's read the part of infinity clauses. Let's read about uh, the example. Okay, infinite clauses yeah. to run a popular internet coffee. coffee in order to establish a trendy restaurant. Okay, good job, guys. All right, now, guys, let's read with fluency. To run a popular internet cafe, repeat, guys. In order to establish a trendy restaurant. In order, in order to establish, to establish a trendy restaurant. restaurant. All right, but guys, it's not, all right, it doesn't go like this, okay? It doesn't go the way to, to the, all right. It's here, guys, okay? This part right here. Yes. All right. <laughs> all right, everyone, to run a popular internet cafe. To, to run, run a popular, popular internet, 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 internet cafe. cafe. It's a good idea to have late open hours. To have late opening hours. Okay, good job. A hey, beautiful pronunciation right there. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, 
in order to, in order to, to establish a currency restaurant. 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 It's important to have fashionable servers. It's important to have fashionable servers. Okay, good. Hey guys, what's uh? Do you have any questions regarding vocabulary? Do you know what? Do you know what trend fashionable. is? Fashionable. 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 Trendy and fashionable, please. All right, fashionable. Okay, do you know what snobby is, guys? Do you know what, uh, is, what do you know what's what a snobby girl is? Snobby girl, no. Yes. No. All right. I think it's actually it's with right. A snobby girl, guys, is la chica fresa, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm not sure if it's I think it's with one video, but uh you can find out. Now guys, now uh so fashionable guys, basically fashionable is like no, usually snobby girls are fashionable, okay? Eh, o sea, fashionable es que estás a la moda, all right? Mm -hmm. Han oído de las fashionistas, all right? Eh, que yep. están a la moda. Yeah. Right. Good job. It is the right? same for a guy, for a boy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can be fashionable, of course, all right? Fashionable. Okay. Yes. Fashionable. Um, fashionable. Okay, all right. Uh, what about trendy, guys? Okay, Popular. I mean, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but yeah, that's... That's if metrosexual people are fashionable. Yes, all right? Culero de metro. All right, all right, keep it, keep it, keep it down, right? Uh, guys, what is it, what is it, what is it for trendy? What is it mean for trendy? Sorry, man. It's all right. Popular. Man. All popular. right, trendy is popular, okay? It's uh, que está la moda, right? Same. It's like a bong? Trendy is, no, trendy is like something very popular, very, very popular. Okay. Like Coca-Cola, okay. Coca-Cola is trendy, right? It's trendy, okay. Uh -huh. All right, very good, guys. All right, um, very good job. Help me with the next example. Um, uh, na, 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 na. Irenia. Infinite classes week four. Yes. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. Okay. All right, guys, let's repeat profitable. 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 All right. Profitable. It's, not, it's not profitable, guys. It's profitable. profitable. Okay. profitable. Yeah, what, what is the meaning of profitable? profitable? Write it down. If you didn't know, write it down. Profitable? You have no idea. No idea? No. What is the meaning? That you can earn a lot of money without with it. Okay. Good job. What is, who said that? I'm sorry. I don't know your name. I don't see you. Um, uh, who, who said Catherine. That? Catherine, good job, good job, Catherine. Can you can you use an example? Um, super Sleek, Super this is a very profitable company right now. Okay, all okay. right, but it's not profitable. It's profitable. You want profitable? Profitable. Profitable. Okay. Profitable company right now. All right. Rentable. Exactly. Okay. Profit, guys, means ganas. Okay. Right, so in this case, yes, it's, it's rentable. Good job, good job. Hey, applause for Catherine, guys. Good job, Catherine. Very beautiful vocabulary. Beautiful. All right, all right, guys, hold on. There is uh, somebody making noise. Okay, good job. All right, uh, next example, guys. So, hey, Daniel Aquino, help me read the next example. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. All right, it went convenient. 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 Convenient location. What is the meaning of succeed? To have success. To succeed, guys, to succeed is to have success. Succeed. That was like cuando vas a Wikipedia, right? It is tener su success, right? No, guys, okay, good job, right? All right, guys. So, hey, what is the what is the um, what are the verbs here in the, in infinitive? What are the verbs that you can that you can see here in infinitive form? Run, to run, run, to run, run okay, establish. to run, to be, to have, to have, have okay. What else? Have. To, to, establish, to, establish, to establish, okay. What else? Be. To have here, uh, to be, where's to be? To be profitable. Oh, here, right, to be, to, right, be. to be profitable, uh -huh. To have, to, to have, have to, 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 to succeed, to succeed, to succeed, to succeed, to succeed and, to have. and to have. And to have, good job, guys, okay? Those are all the infinities. Okay? Guys, 
If an infinitive is simply a word that has to, okay? Before, before uh, the verb, okay? To, uh, to, to greet, okay? Saludar. Ask me, Francisco, go. Uh, it doesn't matter that the verb is in past or? Oh, good to question, guys. Infinitive? Could you, can you use an infinitive with the past tense? No. I think no. No, no, no. guys, you can't. Can. No. Uh-uh, you can't. To succeed is not that... infinitive. No, to succeed is not in the past. Succeed is in the present. That would have been succeed. That one? Yeah. Guys, what is the past of succeed? Succeeded. 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 Good job, right? It's a regular past verb. Okay, succeeded. Succeeded, right? Right? Exactly. So, but you can't okay. say to succeed it. That is not correct. Okay. Good job. Good job, Francisco. Good question. All right. Good question. Write it down, guys, because that happens. Okay. I have people <laughs> saying uh, simple past and, and uh, past participles using using to, and that is absolutely incorrect. Okay. Good question, Francisco. Good job. All right, uh, describing purpose. Okay, Francisco, help me read. Describing purpose, different types of infinitive clauses. Okay, guys, so we have different type of infinity clauses to describe to describe purpose, okay? All right, so for example, uh, Francisco, pick someone else, go. Um, uh, Brenda, R. Okay, Brenda R, okay, Brenda R, hello. Okay. Hello. All right. All right. So help me read the first example, but I needed to give him to give it a compliment. Okay. Remember, two plus a verb. Okay. Uh, to succeed in, in business, mm -hmm. you have to get. Um, you have to study. You have to study more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you were. I thought that you were gonna give a, a big compliment, right? You have to study more. <laughs> no, that's good. That's a good example. I'm just kidding. Yeah, plus for Brenda, guys. Good job, Brenda. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brenda, pick someone. Uh, you know what, guys? The first one to show me a dime. The the last one to show me a dime, guys. Show me a dime. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't have one. Let's see. And this is a dime, dime, guys. This is a yeah, dime. Yeah, I know, see? but I don't have a dime. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, I just have I just have twenty dollar one hundred dollar okay. bills, right? <laughs> okay. So you get the dollars, right? yeah, no. Hey guys, I I recently discovered easy. in Colombia because I have a student from Colombia in another you know in another class. Like, do you know she, you could buy one thousand pens, mil lapiceros. You can you could buy one thousand pens with one quarter, with, with one quarter. Con una quarter, with one quarter, you mm -hmm. can buy one thousand pens in Colombia. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. Damn. <laughs> all right, all right. That was uh, unnecessary information. But if you ever jump there, I hope it, it helps a little bit. All right, guys. So uh, good job, okay? Uh, so let's see. Okay, here you are. There you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Catherine. That's not... <laughs> is, that a, is that a dime? That's not a dime. So that's a quarter. Oh, it's a quarter. Oh, that's a quarter. Right. It's Catherine. a dime. Catherine, give an example. In order to fulfill your request, I need to check on the system about your issue. Ah, uh, concentrics, okay? You need to check <laughs> on the system about, okay, I need to check about your issue. Good job, applause for Catherine, guys. Good job, Catherine. Hey, guys, uh, one thing here. Uh, can I say, guys, I need to check in, your, in the system or on, your, on the system? Um, in the um, I would say I need to check the system. Well, you can say I need to check the system, but well, not, not now. You have to just say on. Guys, when you're talking about electronics, you have to use on every single time. When you're talking about um, social media, so anything that is related to the computer, cell phones, guys, okay? Oh, I watched it on my cell phone. I watched it on, on YouTube. I watched it on, on Facebook. I, uh, I watched it on on the computer, got it? Got it? Got it. Just a got just it. a quick tip, there, guys. Okay. I see on TV. Exactly. Exactly. On TV, you can say on TV. On the news, right? All right. Good job. All right. Uh, help me read. Uh, let's see. Mo Moses, are you there, Moses? Yes, teacher. All right. Help me read from the beginning. 
in order to succeed in a business, you have to. All right, uh, let's try to finish it. You have to what? You have to work hard. Okay, you have to work hard. You have to. Sacrifice a lot. Okay, or you have to uh, <laughs> sacrifice a lot, right? Tenés que sacrificar al tóxico, a la tóxica, right? A la tóxica. <laughs> All right, guys. Good job. Now, guys, right. So here, guys, notice something, okay? Um, this is the same. Guys, this, this in order to is optional. It's for you to sound more formal, okay? But it is absolutely optional, okay? It is, it is what, guys? Optional? Okay. It is optional, optional all right? Optional. You can say to succeed or you can say in order to succeed. In order or to, guys, it means exactly the same, okay? All right? So don't complicate your life with that. It's just if you want to sound uh, more formal, just simply use in order. So far, is it good, guys? Any question? Oh, so good, man. No. All right. Any question? Okay. All right. Uh, and Ada, give me an give me an example using in order to. Uh, in order to succeed in business, uh, you have to conform a uh, excellent team. Okay, guys. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Applause for Ada, guys. Good job. No applause for me, guys, because Ada made a mistake. Applause for me, guys. <laughs> right. Just kidding, Ada. All right, guys. Who can help Ada correct that? There were some mistakes there. Who can help me? Hey, teacher. All right. Uh, that was Jessica, I think, right? Yes. yes. All right, Jessica, all right. Uh, help me correct Eneida. So, Eneida, say it one more time. Eneida. What? What? Say, say what you said one more time. Uh, another, another sentence? No, the same sentence. Ah. In order to succeed in business, okay. you have to conform an um, excellent team. Okay, good job. Okay. All right, now, guys, uh, thank you, Neda, because you corrected yourself the first time you said success, in order to succeed, or something like that, right? But good job. You corrected yourself. Either way, there's still a mistake here. So help me correct it, uh, Jessica. In order to succeed in business, you have to build an excellent team. Okay, beautiful job. Okay, business, you have to build. Good job, an excellent team. Good job. Applause, guys. Applause for Jessica. Good job, Jessica. Good job, okay. All right, so conform, all right? These right here, Neda? Yes. Does not. <laughs> these, <laughs> these right here, that, that doesn't exist. Okay, you don't use it like uh -huh. that. Got it? All right. So conform, it's, it, you have to use build, okay? All right, okay. build is absolutely correct. Other than that, beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Questions, guys? No? No questions so far? No questions. No. All right, now let's, let's work with um, infinity clauses with four. All right, so if I use, guys, if I use an infinitive, in, in, uh, what is the form of the verb? If you're using an infinitive, what form of the verb are you going to see? For present. All right. Present. All right. Present. The base, right? Form. base form. Good job. Two. All right. And base, base form. Okay. Form. All right. But when it comes down to using uh, four guys, all right, you have to use the ing form. You have to use yes. ing form. The ing, the ing form, form, which is called a gerund. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. We're gonna see that right now. Example, uh, help me read the example, Diana. Actually, Francisco, I'm sorry. Francisco Garcia, help me read. Example. Yes, oh, oh there you go. Noun plus infinitive. Uh, four plus noun plus infinitive. Okay, plus plus a noun. The first example comes like this, guys. Four, uh, four plus a noun plus infinitive. Okay, not a verb. We're going to touch base on the, on the verbs later, okay? But right now, we're going to focus on the noun. Now, uh, the example, what is the, help me read the example, Daniela Aquino. Okay, um, for. Just help me read, uh, help me read. <laughs> yeah, read for a business or, or, or the example, the, the example, the example, yes. For a, for a business to succeed. Uh-huh, it has to. Uh, it, it has to. 
to teaching, teaching English. Okay, it has to teach in English or teach in English? Like this, teach in English? It has to teach in English. Teach okay, all right, in teach. Okay, teach, not teach. Teach, teach. all right? Teach. All right, good job. Right, that, that's a weird example, but that's a good that's that's good grammar. Applause for Daniel, guys. Good job, guys. All right, guys. Where is the noun in this sentence? A business. A business. Good job, guys. It is a business. All right. Beautifully done. Okay, it's a business, guys. Any questions right now? No. 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 Okay. All right, guys. So tomorrow, guys. All right. Uh, we're gonna leave it up until here today. Tomorrow, we're gonna continue with. Uh, with the whole presentation before you do uh, before you do the exercise, okay? All right. Uh, do you have any questions about third conditional, the use of infinitives, uh, in order to, or you, do you have any questions regarding gerunds, gerunds in general? No. Yes. No, no. question. All right. No. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Remember, guys, study past participle verbs if you have any issues with with those. Study third conditional, mm -hmm. the third conditional structure if you have any issues with those. We, because uh, we, we're, you're gonna use them, guys. Like if you're if you're if you're planning on uh, being able to be fluent in English, you have to, okay? For cuánta peso pone tu mano te dicho tu tu esposo tu esposo. Mira, si hubiese ido a traer ido a traer las pupusas más temprano, no se hubiese calentado, right? If I had if I had gone, you know, and bring um, the pupusas that I, before, you know, they wouldn't have um, uh, cooled down, okay? All right, so uh, how many times does that happen, guys? A lot, right? You talk like that all the time. So, Please. yes, guys, okay. So, uh, guys, uh, so the student, guys, uh, thank you for being here early. Traten de estar en punto, guys, para que no se pierdan de nada y para que no perdamos tanto tiempo saludando. ¿Ves? Porque hay poca gente, guys, al principio paso saludándolos, pero para avanzar un poco más rápido, traten de estar tiempo. Y otra cosa, guys, los videos, guys, porque a veces me preguntan, los videos, guys, yo, este... Se suben, por ejemplo, la clase de hoy se va a subir mañana, right? No se sube la clase de okay. hoy, se sube mañana, right? Entonces, okay. ahorita ya pueden ir al canal uh, y ya están los dos, las dos clases anteriores, ya están subidas, ok? ¿Vale? Yes. Right, guys, yes. necesiten lo que sea, guys, hay alguna explicación extra, lo que sea, escríbanme a WhatsApp personal y yo con gusto les mando un reinforcement, right? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you very much for coming, guys. Bye. Awesome. Bye. 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 Bye